According to every internet personality who talks about video games right now, 2015 was a great year for games. Considering that when I'm not making videos, I literally do not exist, I wouldn't know, but I'll take their word for it. I mean, look at Gerard the Completionist. He said that and he's got a face you can trust. I am definitely going to leave any child I conceive on his doorstep. I know for a fact that anything I give my child, Gerard could give tenfold, so I think he knows a thing or two about video games. But what about this year? 2016, the third official year of Luigi. Is this year looking to be as promising as last year was? I decided to do some research to find out, and I think you'll be happy to see the gems in progress that I've been digging up that'll be released in this upcoming year. Here are the top 10 games coming in 2016. Number 10. Now I know it came out last year in Japan, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so hear me out. That's right, I'm talking about Gene Ibun Roku Sharp Fe. This is the crossover everyone's been waiting for. It's got everything people love about Shin Megami Tensei and everything people love about Fire Emblem in one game. It's got a plot full of military intrigue, a moral struggle both internal and external between law and chaos, a complex class-changing system, a dark and gritty post-apocalyptic setting, everything you could ever ask for. No wonder it's been selling like hotcakes over in Japan. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game, and neither should you. Number 9. Now, I know it came out last year in Japan, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so hear me out. That's right, I'm talking about Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. I've been looking for a good spiritual successor to Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase since 2001, and we finally got it. It's finally time to arrest the whole internet. Number 8. Now, I know it came out last year in Japan, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so hear me out. Mother 3. Please? Number 7. Now, I know it came out last year in Japan, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so hear me out. Psychopaths, mandatory happiness. It could happen. It's a good anime. Number 6. You know what I think about when I think about that crossover between Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem? Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem. And you know what's coming out this year from Shin Megami Tensei and or Fire Emblem? That's right. Now, I know it came out last year in Japan, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so hear me out. Fire Emblem Fates. Finally, a game that cuts out all the boring clutter like challenge and strategy and gives you full access to a Pokemon Ami style waifu simulator. This is what everyone's been waiting for since the first game came out 26 years ago. Marth would be so proud. Number 5. Now, I know. I know. It came out last year in Japan, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so just hear me out. Silent Hills. I know you're hiding at Konami, it's gotta be somewhere. The thing with Kojima was just a stunt, right? You're you're all pulling at some death grip stunt, right, Kojima? Konami? Del Toro? Come and read us. Number four. Five Nights at Freddy's the Musical. Fuck! Number three. I know it's out in Japan already, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so hear me out. Half-Life 3. You knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. The guy who wrote the Half-Life games originally left Valve to retire, but I've... I've got a theory. I think he was about to leak something like that. They fucking... I think Obama... Obama got him. Finally got to him. He's gonna leak some information, some important information about the release date of fucking Half-Life 3. So they had to let him go. They had to, like, retire. They said it. They said he was retiring, but I know... I know that's not... I know there's more to... Number 2. Now, I know it came out last year in Japan, but it hasn't come out in America yet, so hear me out. Those 2003 Sonic the Hedgehog McDonald's games, I think this one speaks for itself. And the number one game coming in 2016. The new Zelda game looks pretty cool, right? Who's hyped for it? I'm hyped for it. Let's, let's do it. New Zelda game. There you go. Definitive proof that while 2015 was great, 2016 may be an even greater year for gamers everywhere. Now, there were a lot of games to choose from, so I've got a list of honorable mentions that I only wish I had time to talk about. <laughs> it's not called Top 15 list, you know what I'm saying? If you see a game that wasn't on this list, a cool game you're excited for that you think I might have missed, let me know in the comments, but also you're wrong. Bye.